Hello, today we're working on a MacBook Pro 15 inch uh, model A1286 and the problem with the machine is that it randomly uh, shuts off. Well, randomly meaning as soon as there's a little bit of a, a load, a graphic or a photo. So right now we're gonna start a program that we usually uh, run to test graphics of computers and we call it it's called heaven it's a free app that you can download <clears throat> it's like a benchmark tester so when you run it on this particular machine this is what happens it thinks for a minute loads and then just dies and restarts that is a very very common issue on 2010 uh, MacBook Pro and you see it gives a kernel panic so that's a very common issue on these models uh, uh, specifically 2010 um, and the logic board part number is 820-2850-A so those boards are um, known to have this issue with a few caps and this one in particular um, that uh, there's been a few videos about that I think uh, but we just decided to shoot uh, one of our own so uh, let's take the machine apart uh, I'm gonna speed it up a bit because that's a pretty straightforward process So here's the cap right here and this is the part number the C9560 you can find the specs of the cap uh, in the schematics of the of the Mac and uh, then just find a replacement somewhere online Okay, let's uh, desolder the old cap. We already prepared a new one, so we'll just uh, do a quick swap and uh, then retest the machine pretty much. Again, this is a super common thing uh, for, you know, on almost all these Macs that we get, we replace these caps just in case. <clears throat> Uh, because you never know uh, it can cause a lot of weird behavior um, symptoms to this particular board so whenever we get some iffy um, acting uh, Mac of this particular generation we just replace that cap retest if the problem persists then we continue forward but in like 90% of the cases all the problems disappear after we replace this capacitor so Yeah, we just uh, reapply a new thermal paste. Uh, you see, it's a what an Arctic Silver Five, super good um, paste. Um, screw the heatsink back. We'll put the um, speaker, reassemble the the machine, and um, let's give it another try. It's gonna be a pretty quick uh, video because. Um, the, the, the majority of the process is, is pretty routine, just taking things out and then back in. It's nothing super exciting. So just remember, you know, when you uh, start working on the machine, disconnect the battery first, you know, power down the machine. And then obviously when you're assembling it, connect the battery last. And be careful and gentle with all the connectors um, you see we use the plastic um, spudger tool to uh, unplug all the flat connectors okay so here's the moment of truth the machine still works <laughs> so it powers on and let's uh, run that uh, heaven test one more time and see if it um, if it stays on
Okay, it takes a second to load. But again, because we're loading onto an external hard drive, it's not the actual drive of the machine. We have our external drive with the, all the testing software. So, and sometimes drives are might be a bit slower. So not all of them are S SSDs, so. Okay, it's loaded. Okay, start up to heaven. And remember, last time it uh, shut off right about now. Okay, and we have uh, graphics. I think it's a successful job. We will do more testing behind the camera just to make sure we'll we'll properly stress test it. But the you know the initial. Um, confirmation is there you see uh, we're way past the point that it loaded to last time so again a very common issue a very simple fix thank you so much for watching and um, see you later